The 20th and early 21st centuries were, at least in the West, characterized by social and political movements intended to achieve freedom and equality for groups that were previously discriminated against. Women's suffrage and second wave feminism gave women the right to vote and to earn money on an equal footing to men. The civil rights movement in the USA saw equal rights for black people and the end of racial segregation. And the Stonewall riot saw the beginning of the mainstream gay rights movement. And of course, we saw the trans rights movement emerge at around the same time, so bubbling along quietly for the first few decades and then really taking off in the early 2010s. Now, obviously, all of these social movements were ultimately forces for good and achieved much needed systemic societal change. However, as with all activist movements, there are factions that can spiral out of control. We've seen this with the rampant man-hating and petty commands of fourth wave feminism and the violence of the Black Lives Matter movement. And as for the gay rights movement, well, that movement has been largely eclipsed by trans activists who are now insisting that males be allowed into women's spaces just because they say they're women and that children can be trusted to make decisions to take puberty blockers and amputate their body parts if they feel any discomfort with their physical selves. Now, aside from anything else, this escalation of the trans movement runs the risk of affecting all the good work that gay and trans activists did in gaining their acceptance and their rights.